Welcome to Tesla Field Physics. In this video, I'd like to show you the difference between my iPhone recording the same event and my Sony Handycam recording the same thing because I made a video earlier tonight about six o'clock where I was recording this object next to the moon and my iPhone was only catching it once in a while and my camcorder was only catching it once in a while. So I'm gonna show you the view from my camcorder with the screen that I can kind of um, tilt so you can see a different perspective. And then I'm gonna load up the MP4 from the um, camcorder so you can see the difference between all these different um, views because I was just having real focusing issues tonight when I was trying to record. So um, this is coming from Roger City, Michigan. Like I say, Rocket City. Um, and you're gonna hear me talking in the background because I'm recording my YouTube video that was part one of this. So this is part two. City, Michigan, Tesla Field Physics. The object you see to the left, that's the moon. The object you see to the right, that's what my phone and my camcorder is recording right now. We got all kinds of stuff in our airspace. The government knows what's around here. They've stated publicly what's in the airspace and, and around the Roger City area. Let's see if we can zoom in on this thing. So that's what it's doing that you couldn't see on an iPhone. You might not even be able to see this on the MP4 when I get that recorded. So it's just having major focusing problems. So I'm gonna fast forward through some of this. But it's even jacking up the camera. You can see um, this is a fresh tape and you can see it's doing stuff to the um, quality of the tape. See, I can't even see it on the screen. I can see it a little bit through my phone, but I can't even see it on the screen. There it is, now I can see it. But only looking through my phone recording this, I look right there, I can't, I can't see it. Now you can, now it's popping back in pretty good, but it's just different perspectives, make a big difference. They got some wild tech. You can see it's just distorting the whole area. It's like when I'm not looking through the phone, it just looks like it's going 
going right here, and then Jimmy Downs, and then get it right here, and then Jimmy Downs. So I'm looking south towards Roger City. Pretty wild. Like I said, that's the moon to the left, and the object is just doing all kinds of stuff. to the right. Try to zoom in on it a little bit. Always good to have a few different perspectives, no matter what you're doing. So let me try and fast forward a little bit here. It just keeps getting wilder. You look at it from one way, then you look at it from this. See, I don't know what's going on. The camera just lost focus and I'm doing my video. You know, freezing while I'm out there recording. So that's what took place earlier tonight. I was just trying to keep those things in view, in focus. And it's not easy. Like I said, you can only really see them moving if you're standing still. Or if you're behind a tree or something, then, then you'll see them like pop out behind a tree. Um, and that's how I first started noticing these things back in 2004. I would be sitting as still as I could and I would be lining them up on trees. And then you'd see them uh, move around the tree. So then you knew you were dealing with something that wasn't uh, just a star. So this thing goes out of focus for a long time. But you can see the tape in spots gets funny. And like I said, this is a fresh tape in this um, handy cam. So I don't know when it comes back on here, but we'll see what it does. Doing the review tonight, Thursday night, December 5th. Rocket City, Michigan, 49779, Putin don't nuke us, man, you know we got the shit, China, you know we got the shit here, I'm telling y'all. Site of the um, Super Bowl Sunday balloon. Uh, craft possibly incident so I got the moon here and I'm trying to keep this thing tuned in again because I lost it like I said Let's see what this thing does on here I can't keep it focused so I keep moving the um I had to move the tripod and stuff Let's see what else we can see this thing doing. Try to focus in on it. Get you a good close up on it. But it's super difficult.
Just hold on, I'm trying to get it. See what this thing's doing, it's not what you think it is, it's not a star, I can tell you that much. So you can see it, it's almost like it's getting pulled into the black hole almost all the way and then it's coming back out. This is really wild. It's just hard to keep these things in focus. Just trying to show y'all what's going on up here. I've been watching this stuff since 2004. Okay, so that was the end of it. So, that's what I wanted to show everybody was how two different perspectives, two different pieces of equipment show you two different views of the same event. So, thanks for watching. If you haven't seen part one, check it out. Mike Tulaski, Tesla Field Physics. Peace.